Today we're going to see if three golem decks from a year ago still work in today's meta. The first deck that we have, actually back then we only had one evolution. So now that we have two, with the next, I have three decks total. With the next two decks, I've had to add evolutions. But for this deck, the most used deck um, from a year ago was this firecracker deck when it was absolutely broken and didn't die to arrows. And I think it's like very similar to what the firecracker used to be because they did buff it a little bit but it just dies to arrows now and we did have ice spirit in this so we didn't have to swap out any cards for an evolution but um scar me i don't have maxed out and i don't feel like paying to do that so i'm gonna use guards instead of scar me all right we got and uh anacondex good luck to you sir We'll cycle our E-Spirit first. I never really use the E-Spirit Evo, so... I mean, Ice Spirit. So we shall see how it does here. I'll cycle some guards. He's got Little Prince and Dagger Duchess Tower. Let's see how he does here. What's he gonna do? You got anything? I'll go Lumberjack. Get this LP out the way. He nados it back. Interesting. Let's see. I'm just gonna arrow this. And I'm gonna Ice Spirit. Oh, it doesn't even get the Little Prince. No. I wanted to get the Little Prince right there. Let's just go Firecracker. Get Lumberjack. Firecracker, are you going to shoot or are you just going to stand there? Just going to stand there. Alright, he's got E-Giant. Something tells me this deck is not going to work. Something tells me it might not work, guys. I'm going to Lightning this. Maybe it could, but... I don't, like, I see it not working. I really do. It's very vulnerable to air. It's vulnerable to E-Giant. I don't know. Not feeling good about it, but... We're gonna try our best. I'll just go Golem, Double Looks, who's coming up right now. He hasn't placed a single thing in a hot second. He doesn't have fire... I mean, he doesn't have arrows for my firecracker. He just has tornadoes, so he's going to have to tornado things if he wants to get rid of them. Or lightning them. But we'll just get our Night Witch. I'm going to lightning his little prince. And let's just get going with the lumberjack. Okay, he goes to Evo Skellies, but they're just shredded instantly. All right, Lumberjack, let's go. Chop, chop. And we get the Little Prince. Spawn killed. Let's go. Firecracker gets a shot off. Maybe this deck does work. Maybe it does work. Ice Spirit on that. Let's get our Golem down. And he's got Barbarians. Nice. All right, let's get Firecracker down. Golem's going to reach the tower. Let's go. That should be game. Lighting, we win. Cheese, cheese. Let's go. All right. The second deck that we are using is actually Mortar. I, I used Mortar with... It was Bar Barrel, but I replaced Bar Barrel with the Evil Bomber. I think it's going to synergize pretty well with this deck. And yeah, we got we got Lightning, got Night Witch, Golem, Baby Dragon, Ice Wizard, and we will switch to the Canyoneer Tower instead of Princess. And... Yeah, I still gonna be keeping with Canyon. I think Canyon is definitely gonna be probably the the best tower troop until they make some changes to the other ones. Cause Princess is just kind of average. It's always has been, and Dagger Duchess is. I think it's still pretty good, but I think they nerfed it a little bit too hard. So we'll see how things play out. I bet they'll do something next balance changes. All right. I think I'm just going to go Mortar first play. Just going to do it. See what happens. 
And he lets us connect. Nice. Will we get another shot? Nope. We do have Baby Dragon down, though. Let's see. Will this be enough to counter the Sparky? Yes, just barely. Just barely enough to counter it. Let's get the Ice Wizard down here. He goes with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. 2. Let's just NATO this back. He thinks he can just spam us and get away with that. No, you can't, sir. Deal with my mortar. Deal with my mortar. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, baby dragon, please. One. Two. Let's go, baby dragon. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Mortar's just dealing with the tower. He's got a fireball it to prevent him from getting more value, but that's already some decent damage, and we still have to do our golem push. Although he does have the Evo Goblin Giant and Mini Pekka still, which will be a little hard to deal with. I think, you know, with what we got going, we'll be okay. I'm just going to go Golem right now. He's not really doing anything. I think he's leaking Elixir. He's going to have to Tornado the Night Witch if he wants to get, get that all together. If not, I'm just going to Lightning right now. That's going to be Tower. And Nightwitch should spawn some bats. Let's go. Should take out the Sparky here. Let's go. And this is looking like GG's. I mean, this is such an off-meta deck. I feel like people aren't prepared for it. I, I think we are pretty vulnerable to Lightning, but... Honestly, not really. Alright, I'm just going to go Ice Wizard in the back. Just go Mortar here. Let's go with Baby Dragon 2. Honestly, not the best fireball. We counter everything. We got 30 seconds left. We've taken like no damage at all. I think this is going to be GG's. So, unless anything crazy happens, I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, in the third and final deck that we're going to see if it works, we got Evil Firecracker still. And we got Evil Bomber instead of the Bar Barrel. We still have Night Witch, Golem. We've added Prince. Prince got a buff. Skeleton King, I feel like got buffed because of Dagger Duchess being nerfed and people using Cannoneer a lot. So that'll be interesting. We also have the E-Dragon, which I haven't been using all too much because it's been very vulnerable to Void and just, just hasn't been as good um, as what it used to be before Void. We're going to see if it works out. All right, guys, I'm making an executive decision, and we're replacing the Evo Bomber with Evo Zap. Um, I just don't feel like the Evo Bomber is really going to help us all too much. And E-Dragon, it's like this deck is very vulnerable to Inferno Dragon and Inferno Tower. I don't want to have to deal with that. I just played a game, and I really wish I had Zap, and I, I probably would have won if I had Zap. So we're just going to add that. And yeah, change it up a little bit. All right, guys, we got Black Star. Good luck to you, sir. All right, it goes with Ram Rider. I'll get my E Dragon down. Cool, cool. It goes with Firecracker. I think we'll just zap this. Our fire Firecracker gets to it. He's got the. Oh man, we did activate it. That's rough. Firecracker got a couple shots on the tower, so that's not too bad. I feel, I feel like I should just go Golem now. He just used Executioner and Firecracker. If we're going to get something done, I feel like we go Night Witch behind Golem. And then Split Push. Actually, let's just Split Push the other lane with Night Witch and Skelly King. Let's just do that. See how this goes. He goes bowler. He's going to have to deal with all these bats. I'm just going to pop ability. And let's see. He just used NATO. Let's get Firecracker down on this E-Giant. We're going to take some damage. I probably should have just defended, but I feel like we'll be okay. I feel like we'll be okay. Yeah, not too bad. Definitely will be defending that differently next time around. Oh, man. This sucks. 
Um, that sucks. Um, Alright. I think if we get another golem down, then go Prince instead. Push same lane. We'll be okay. Golem down now. Double Elixir's coming up. I'll just get Skelly King up here to deal with these guards. And then get Prince down for this E Giant. He still has Executioner. So that's going to be something to deal with. Okay, Firecracker does actually help out. Let's Evo Zap those Barbarians. Nice, Firecracker gets another shot off. Golem is going to take the tower here, I think. I'm going to get another Golem down just in case. Okay, they don't. But he doesn't have a building. He doesn't have a building to deal with this. Let's just NATO this back. Okay, looks like we're going to be trading towers. Uh, I'll just get another Firecracker down, which will kind of suck because it will die to that Ram Rider. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't die to Ram Rider. Okay. I'm going to get Skelly King down on this Firecracker. It will be tough to deal with later on. Tried NATOing all of that together. I just want this Executioner dead. Almost. Gotta get Prince down here. And he nadles it together. But Executioner doesn't get any value there, really. Nice Prince, let's go. Alright, I think he's just gonna try and spam us with the Ram Rider at this point. Guess not. Alright, let's zap this. We'll die to one shot. I'm just gonna get a Golem down. I'm going to get Firecracker down here. NATO it back a little bit. Nice Firecracker. Does take out the Executioner. Let's go. Let's get Skelly King. I'm just going to Evo Zap as well. Another Firecracker. Let's NATO all this together. I'm just going to go Prince in the pocket here. Zap this. Let's pop Ability here. Alright, we only have 30 seconds left. Alright, let's go Prince. I'm just going to Nightwish on this Firecracker. Skelly King in the pocket. Let's get Firecracker down right here. Pop ability. Let's NATO all this together. Let's zap. Let's go. Let's go, we just clutched up. Let's go, guys. No way, I thought we were done for. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so it looks like these three decks do still work today. Probably still gotta get some practice in with this one because I, I was having some trouble with this. But honestly, I don't feel like they're bad. And this one might be my favorite to use. I think it's very defensive and, you know, lots of splash. Lots of tornado splash opportunities. Lightning is is huge. It doesn't have arrows, but I feel like you can kind of get away with it. Definitely deal with Hog Rider. Definitely deal with Drill a lot better. And, you know, you got two win conditions, so you can just mortar cycle really and defend and then defend enough till you get your golem. And with this deck, it's you got a lot of split lane pressure and yeah, I think, I think these decks actually work pretty well. So I'll be streaming and testing out to see which one will help me push back up to around 1,700 medals in UC tonight. So come check out the TikTok stream. Peace out, guys.